In this video, I want to talk about doing git undo or git redo. So let's say you made a couple changes and you committed that and then you push that to the remote side, then this video will help you solve those issues. If you actually made changes, made a commit, but never pushed them, then you can just use git reset head, which is an example I did in another video. So you can look at that video, which is just for local. But if you actually push that to the remote, then this is a different example. So let's say, so here I'm gonna do git status to show you guys that I'm on branch feature example six. I'm in this branch and my branch is up to date. And this is where I'm pushing at to the remote. So both of them are in the same branch. And I can see in my file structure, I have test uh, one, two, eight files. So test one, two, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And now I wanna see my history just to see the last commits I've done. So the last commit I did is right here, which is I added stuff to file eight. The commit before that, I added a file, which is test eight. Here I made changes to seven. And in this commit, I made changes well, I actually made a new file called test seven. So these are my four last commits. And actually these four last commits, which I pushed up, I don't want them. I made a mistake and I want to delete them. How do I delete them? Since you're not, if it was local, there would be a different method, but since we have already pushed them, then we have to use git revert. So what you would do is git revert And this, and after, everything after this is the commits that you want to get deleted. So you would, if you want your last one to get deleted, then you would do this. If you want your your second to previous commit to be deleted, you would do this. If you want your third previous to get deleted, you would do this. If you want your fourth, this, and etc. 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 So I want my last four to get deleted. So if I want to do my last four, I could do, uh, I could do head four, head three, head four. Actually, my last fourth would be head three, head two, head one, head, and that would run. Or I can just do this. And that would delete uh, my last commit all the way through my fourth commit. So I'm going to get revert no commit, head three head, and I'm going to click enter. And I'm going to do get status, and it's going to say text seven and test eight have been deleted. And I'm going to show you my file structure. It only shows six files. And the reason it shows six files is because I went back pretty much four commits. And when I went back, there was no test seven. There was no test eight. So I'm going to do git log. And you guys can see these were my four last commits. But I pretty much took them out. So test seven and test eight were never there when I went back to pretty much here because this is where I'm at now. So since we, these were deleted. So here, I could do git commit and make my changes. But let's say for run, some reason you want to abort this and you're like, crap, actually I did want that. Then what you can do is do git revert abort. And if you do git revert abort, this status, and you should be up to date. And then let me run that get revert again so now it says I deleted my test 7 and my test 8 and all I'm going to do is get commit reverted changes back for commits and it did it in my two files. I have that, get status. 
It just says that I have to push your branches ahead of origin feature example six by one commit and I just push. And I'm up to date. And that's how you undo a commit once you have pushed already to the to the remote uh, sides wicket. Thank you.